DaVinci Resolve 20 was announced just a few days ago, and yes, it is available now. But plenty of people are still asking if it's available, and it's understandable why. Lots of people rely on those pop-ups you get sometimes when you open Resolve and you see, oh, there's a new version available. And if they don't see that and they also come up to DaVinci Resolve, check for updates, and they are told their software is up to date, what do they do? We're gonna stay on Resolve and come to DaVinci Resolve Preferences. And under System General, you have this option automatically check for updates, which should be checked, but underneath that, you have automatically opt in for new beta program notifications. This by default is unchecked. And it's easy to see why. These betas are new, they aren't as thoroughly tested, they could be unstable, they could have new bugs. Obviously, you should be careful whenever you're updating if you are in the middle of critical work. But if you do want notification about those beta updates, you can check this in Resolve and save those project settings. And then you should be getting those normal pop-ups just when there are those new betas available. I'm like 90% sure that is how it works. That is how all the text says it should work. But I also have to recommend a, a I think, better way of doing things. And that is over on blackmagicdesign.com, the main website. Very importantly, we have this support section. If I click that, it shows all the projects Blackmagic makes, but of course that includes DaVinci Resolve. And right here, we have these three columns, all pretty important. I mean, the one on the right is just its Twitter feed, less important. This one on the middle is whenever they update new manuals. Uh, so you can see like the DaVinci Resolve new features guide that came out just on Saturday. If you want more information, check that out. But on the left, we have active updates. And you can see the latest one is Blackmagic Camera and down here is Resolve. And of course you can scroll, but you can also filter this just by clicking on this DaVinci Resolve icon here. And that will change, you know, all of these columns to be just about Resolve and, and Fusion. But here we can see DaVinci Resolve 20 Public Beta 1 and underneath it DaVinci Resolve Studio Public Beta 1. You can click this read more for a lot more information about this specific update, which can be helpful, you know, before you commit to downloading something. And then you also have the specific uh, operating system you are downloading it on. Of course, if you are here, like if I download the just uh, DaVinci Resolve 20 public beta, you will have this standard form asking for some information. Some people really don't like this. I don't mind it. Blackmagic has been very clear about all their policies for handling user information. But um, you might not know that if you grab the uh, studio download here, it starts to have that form and even ask for your serial number. But you have a separate option down in the corner to directly download only. only. Uh, so if you have Studio, you can skip this form. If you download directly from the site, you will also know have that zip folder, which you can keep for your own backups. But that is less important because if you also don't know the magic of this support site, um, these are the past versions of Resolve. You can start scrolling and you can download and use uh, the free version, or if you have a license, the studio version, going all the way back to May of 2014, DaVinci Resolve Lite and DaVinci Resolve 10.1.5. Well over 10 years of DaVinci Resolve are here available for you now. Obviously, all the cool and exciting stuff is in the new versions, but if for any reason you need to roll back, you can always do that on the support page. That's the important info. DaVinci Resolve 20 is available now. I recommend heading over to the support page to grab your download there. But if you want to be aware of new beta versions, check out that option in the user preferences in DaVinci Resolve. I've been talking a lot about Resolve 20 on the channel. I have my own intro walkthrough of a lot of the cool new features. I have a video all about whether version 20 is a paid upgrade. Grand Petty says some things that scared some people, but we get to the bottom of it in that video. And of course, more videos to come. So stick around if you want any of that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.